Hi, I'm Rue from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another grocery haul. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, do not forget to give it a like. And if you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do loads of haul videos as well as shop with me's, speed cleans, day in the life, routines, all that kind of thing. I hope you will love it. Now let's take a look at what I've bought today. Starting over here in the chilled section, we have got some pink lady apples. We all know these are my favorites because they're sweet and lovely and the children really enjoy them. The problem is, why are they gonna come in that packet? It's just, it's just not necessary, is it? Um, I don't know if you can buy them loose in store. Obviously you can buy them loose some places, but they always get delivered to me in the packet like that. I've not seen the option to buy them loose. Um, I have, however, bought loose peppers. Um, I've bought packs of peppers before now thinking they were better value, but actually these are like really huge and juicy. The ones in the packs don't seem to be um, as big. So I'm quite liking those. Um, I bought six, which is the equivalent of two packs, although it's more than two packs because they're bigger. And obviously we're not you know, wasting as much packaging. So that's quite nice. Um, I've got a few meals planned that those will go into. I think this week we're doing fajitas, we're doing enchiladas, that's two Mexican dishes that those will go into, um, and possibly some other bits and pieces too. I will let you know as we go round. I've also got some baby corn and mange too. Now these were on a deal, two packs for a price. I shall put that price on the screen now. Um, I thought I would stick those in with the fajitas, so that for the fajitas, uh, I always do chicken and peppers and onions, but sometimes I do stick these in as well, just to sort of cram a few extra veggies in. And then another night I will do those on the side, possibly with sweet and sour, or possibly even with Sunday dinner, um, which it is Sunday today, the day I'm filming this, so I might stick some of those in, uh, some of our veggies for Sunday dinner. I have got some tomatoes, which um, I will put on the side of some food as long, along with some cucumber. Um, my children are still aren't fussed on tomato, but I'm still trying to persuade them to eat it. They're more likely to eat it if I scoop out the seeds and it's just kind of the, the fleshy skin bit as opposed to the gooey bit. Uh, still working on that. I love tomatoes. Just working on the children. Sometimes I, if I can just get them to keep them on their plates or try a little bit of it, then that's, you know, counted as a win. I have got six large potatoes to do jackie potatoes one night. I've actually already got some of these in the fridge, which I will use first, but, and then use these perhaps towards the end of the week. But we do like a good jackie potato. I tend to soften them up in the microwave first and then pop them in the oven. My husband likes them super crispy. I'm not so fast. I don't mind them crispy or not crispy, whatever. And then we've got some onions. Again, I just already have some onions in the fridge. So I've got just an extra three because the onions will go with lots of things that I'm making this week. On to dairy, and we've got only, only four pints of milk. Normally I buy lots of cheese, but I already had that, so I didn't need that. And normally I buy yogurts, but we already had those, so I didn't only needed milk this week. I did, however, mean to buy bananas. That was a bit of a faux pas. I do need to pick some of those up locally because we ate our last banana. Well, I say we, I can't stand bananas. The children ate the last banana at lunchtime today. And I said, it's okay, there are more coming because I really thought I'd ordered some. Okay, on to steak mince. I am planning to do chili one night. I've got the rest of the ingredients for chili. Um, obviously onions will go in that. Maybe some chocolate peppers as well. Um, so chili will be one night with a nice lean steak mince and 5% fat. I still drain it after I fried it though because I don't like it too slimy. And then I have got diced chicken. So I am doing enchiladas one night. I am doing fajitas one night. I'm probably gonna do curry one night and I'm probably gonna do sweet and sour another night. So um, I've got those for two of the nights. I've got the chicken breast fillets for chicken dinner tonight as in Sunday dinner, roast dinner. We all call it different things, don't we? Roast dinner, Sunday dinner, chicken dinner, gravy dinner, <laughs> whatever you call it, that's what we're having tonight with chicken. Um, but also when we go over to the frozen section, I have tried something a bit new this week. So over to the frozen section. First of all, I've got two bags of um, frozen chips. They are the lighter ones. And these are the new things that I'm trying. Frozen chicken breast fillets. Now I assume you have to get them out the night before. Let's have a look. Oh, 
for breast results, cook from frozen. Okay, place on a baking tray with tin foil. All oh, right, okay. Or from defrost, cook for 25 minutes. Here we go. This is it's not suitable for microwave cooking. See, I figured you'd have to do what you do when you freeze chicken breast, which is, if I was to like freeze one of those packs over there, I would just get them out the night before. Um, so can I do that? Can I just get them out the night before? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Will that work if I just get them out the night before? Because basically what I was thinking of doing was getting them out the night before and then chopping them up to do like curry or sweet and sour or whatever. But this is saying for best results, cook from frozen. I don't know. Weigh in on this people. Have I just bought something that's utterly useless? Or can I treat them the same way as the others? Basically I thought that this would be a more cost effective way of doing chicken than freezing it from fresh. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is this going to be as nice? Are the chicken breasts as nice? Have you tried these? Let me know. On to dry foods and not a great deal over in this section this week. We have got two packs of medium egg noodles. These are super easy to do. Just bung in a pan for a few minutes and they come in for like portion nests. So it, they're really easy to portion as well. And like rice, we've just got to kind of wing it and get it. Yeah. So I have bought two packs of those priced on screen now because they're on a deal and then we have got some Tesco rice we do go through a lot of rice in this family and um, it goes on side of a lot of things so this week I'll do rice with chili I will do rice with curry and I will do rice with sweet and sour so they will be my three kind of rice dishes I do put noodles with sweet and sour as well and then over to birthday cakes now, if you caught my last grocery haul, which I shall link below, you know, we had a lot of birthday stuff because we had a birthday party, which was actually yesterday, huge success. Um, but their actual birthdays are coming up. So three of my children had a joint birthday party yesterday. And then William's birthday is this Thursday and Zara's birthday is on Sunday. So let's check the dates on these. That one is absolutely perfect. And that one, yeah, that won't last till then anyway, we'll eat it all. So they are their birthday cakes. They chose those themselves at the list. I just showed them at the list online. Um, and I, I do love a bit of frozen Avengers. The boys are into Avengers, but I'm a frozen girl myself. You know, which one would be, would be your choice? Um, so that is for their birthdays. They do have a birthday cake in their parties and then it's nice to sing at them tea time on their birthdays too. Over to drinks, we have got two bottles of squash. This is um, double concentrate, so you just need to put a tiny little bit in the bottom of the glass. It's no added sugar, so there's barely any calories in it, um, and they have that with meals uh, only. They drink water the rest of the time, unless it is breakfast time, in which case they have either apple juice or orange juice. So that's for breakfast, that's for lunch or tea. Now we're on to kind of toiletries and cleaning and that kind of thing. So I've got one pack of paracetamol. I only like the capsules, call me a baby, but I can't stand the ones that are not coated in anything. And the second you try and swallow them, they kind of dissolve in your mouth, utterly disgusting. So let me know, are you the same? And there we go. And then some basic non-branded ibuprofen. It's just always good to have those in stock and we were kind of running low for, for headaches or whatever. Then on to Method Laundry. This was half price. Now normally it's nine pounds, it was four pound fifty. So I got two. I normally buy this one and I love the smell, but I thought I'd try the pink as it was half price. It's called Peony Blush. Now let me know, have you tried these and which one's nicer? I do like this, I use this all the time. Excited to try that. Does that make me sad that I'm excited to try that? And then a bit more method stuff. These I do know all about. This is my um, shower spray, daily shower spray. Basically, as soon as anyone's finished having a shower, I just spritz it with that. And it kind of, it doesn't mean you don't have to clean the shower at all. It just means when you do go to clean it, it's easier and it doesn't need cleaning quite as frequently because you just spray this on and it doesn't need to rinse. And it makes the bathroom smell amazing. So I've got two of those because we always have one in each bathroom and I, you know, like to have a backup one, as you know. And then I've also got this, which is my favorite multi-surface cleaner. The lavender one's quite nice too, but I think this one might be my favorite. So I'm gonna use up the rest of the Method ones. I've got Method Kitchen, I've got Method Bathroom, but I think I'm just gonna to stick to this multi-surface one and then also the antibacterial wild rhubarb one. 
uh, when I've run out of the others. I will rebuy their glass cleaner. But as for the bathroom cleaners, I think the multi-surface does just a good a job and I prefer the smell. Then back over here, we've got milk teeth toothpaste. Now Zara's nearly three and Bella is now five and I've yet to find a toothpaste other than this one that they will both consent to use because they are like, I don't like the taste and I've tried a few. So recommendations for toothpaste that tastes like this but is for children that are slightly older would be much appreciated. Then on to Vaseline. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos on this, or if you follow me on Instagram for that matter, in fact, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's under here. Go and follow me on Instagram later on as soon as you finish watching this video. But um, I have very dry skin, so I put Vaseline on my lips a lot from those little tins, and Zara has got sort of dryness around her mouth and she keeps picking it, so that's looking a bit sore. But when I put Vaseline on it, it gets better. I normally use the Vaseline from these little tins. You can see this one's a bit battered, it's been in my bag. Um, and these are often on offer, two for a price, you know, a deal. But when you look at the price per mil or whatever, this works out so, so much cheaper than these little tins. So what I thought I'd do is buy this and then scoop it out and decant it into the little tins and put the little tins back in my handbag. It'll only take two seconds and it will save a fortune. Now on to toilet paper. Now, there's a bit of a problem with this. Whoop. <laughs> the toilet paper I may face a problem with. Now, as you know, I normally buy branded toilet paper and I buy it when it's on offer. So I think it was Cushel that was on offer this time. It said I was supposed to have Cushel Ultra Quilted 3 ply 16 rolls and it was supposed to cost me £6.50. And instead, they've sent me two lots of nine Tesco and they've charged me £6.50 for the lot. So we have got extra rolls. We've got... 18 rolls instead of 16 rolls but is this any good or are my whole family gonna whinge about it being horrible i don't know i mean if it is if it is uh, you know nice i'll rebuy it i have nothing against using tesco's own products as you can see but to toilet rolls something that i don't know whinging about the precious little bottoms let me know are they gonna whinge or is that toilet paper nice next we have tesco Tissues. Now see, I do buy Tesco and tissues and these are perfectly nice. It's because everyone in the world has a cold at the moment, so I have bought not one, not two, not three, but four boxes of tissues. That's right, people, four boxes of tissues. Not forgetting, but almost forgetting, Child's Farm shampoo. It was suggested to me to buy Child's Farm stuff because Zara's got quite sensitive skin and this stuff does smell amazing. So we've got the bubble bath, we've got the shampoo, the conditioner, the lot. Uh, but the shampoo is running low, so I've got some more of that. And this one smells like strawberry and organic mint. It does smell divine, I must say. So yeah, Child's Farm shampoo um, and all the Child's Farm stuff, actually. Try and stock up on it when it's on offer, because it's not like as cheap as shampoo can get. It's not extortionate either. This bottle was not on offer. This was £3 for one bottle, which isn't ideal, but we were running low on it. When it is on offer, I will stock up a little bit more. You may notice I didn't have a massive don't judge me section and I didn't buy any ripples. But don't panic, <laughs> there's a reason for this. Um, as I said, we had the birthday party yesterday. If you caught my last Tesco grocery haul, you'll know that I actually bought Easter eggs instead of party bags. I bought 50 Easter eggs, not 50 children came. I kind of overbought just in case. Um, sort of, I think we have, so we've probably got like 10 Easter eggs left over. So I do not need any ripples because if I've got a sweet hankering, we got these strikes here, so fear not. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's see how much we spent. Dum, dum, dum. All that came to 103.29. Okay, if you have liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you want to watch my latest video, it's just over here. And more shop with me's and hauls are down here. See you soon.